So I am a hearing aid specialist, um, but today the main thing I want to talk to you about is just has to do with sound. Um, and sort of try to explain some of the um, some of the concepts of sound and hearing and and that kind of stuff. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is try to try to demonstrate the um, the importance of directionality. Okay, so. Um, even people with normal hearing uh, have difficulty understanding what people are saying if they can't tell which direction sound is coming from. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of people talking, a lot of a lot of a lot of background noise, and all that noise is coming together. The ability to focus in on one sound and ignore the other sounds is called squelch. Okay, we're not born with that ability. We have to develop it. Uh, we don't develop it till we're about six years old is when we start actually being able to do that. So when little kids seem like they're not paying attention, they literally cannot pay attention. Uh, their brains do not have the capacity to, to, to squelch, okay? So we develop it. Um, some people are better at it than others. People who are musicians tend to be better at squelch because they've actually trained their brain to focus in on, say, a particular instrument in the band that they aren't supposed to be following. Um, or people who uh, are bilingual also tend to be better at, at squelch. So um, the ability to focus in on one sound or one voice, one signal, and ignore the others is, is um, it's a skill that some people are better at than others. And as we get older, we start to lose that ability just naturally. Even if we still have normal hearing, we lose that ability. Um, but if we have hearing loss, then it gets much, much worse. And the biggest problem that anybody with hearing loss has is, is hearing and understanding voices in a noisy situation. That is the absolute number one problem anybody has, because even people with normal hearing have that problem. And um, it's the thing that is the biggest complaint, okay? And a lot of that is because people wait, on average, about seven to 10 years after they already know they have a hearing loss before they actually do anything about it. Um, and their brain has actually started to lose the ability to process the sounds. So it's not just hearing the sounds, it's the brain's processing of the sound. Okay, that said, all right. So I'm gonna play <clears throat> two different signals through this one microphone, and I want you to try to focus in on one line of speech, okay? Um, And what's your name? Oh, you can also find us at this. So why did we get these things today? Okay. No, because you what are we doing here your today? allowance. Chocolate and you use your allowance to buy it. Show me what you got. In, in I got Los Angeles. So I bought my I got a candy store where they make these. The special candy bar. Candy. So you can probably hear so different the words here and there. To guess what they are. You they can hear sections of sound. This one, the monster and split. The, I'll show you what it is. And this, and this. But it's probably difficult to actually focus in on one of those and actually follow it through. Okay. So now I will put that those exact same two signals through two different microphones. If I, here we go. Chili, Chili, you can get these ones at Toys R Us. Yeah, and Coco got that from Target. Or many other fine stores. Uh, now, Coco got you there. can also find this at Friendly. So why did we get these things well. today? This is Rainbow Dream. Because we're going to a video. No, because you okay, saved your allowance and you used your allowance to buy it. Show me what you got. I got um a, 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 I I I so just you guess. So Killian's going to go first. Okay. Okay. So is that easier? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now. <laughs> Okay, now focus on one. Okay. And we have the blind spot. And you have a blind spot. I got a fighting set too. I got. Okay. I got. Okay. 
Okay. George, I got a chocolate. Set. That's what you got. Yeah, the next so one I got. Yeah. Glob lobber. Okay. And the next day we're going to like load this. Okay. So now how easy is it to just to focus on one signal and pay attention to everything that's coming out of there? So even though the other one's still going, when you have separation of the sound, you have directionality, then it becomes very easy for your brain to focus in on one of them and, and ignore and tune out the other one. Okay, that's, that's squelch, okay? Just being able to focus. Um, there's still the same volume, but by separation of sound, then you're able to actually focus. Your brain's actually, actually able to focus. Um, that demonstrates the importance of directionality. That demonstrates the importance of stereo sound. We naturally have stereo sound. We have two ears, okay? Um, a lot of people ask, well, do I, I only need one hearing aid, right? It's like, well, um, if you can't see, you only need one glass. I mean, you could you wear a monocle. I mean, people used to do that. Um, but we understand with our eyesight, if we need to be able to see, it's really important to be able to see with both eyes, okay? So take that same idea and just apply it to your ears. If you need to be able to hear, it's really important to be able to hear with both ears. Because if you only hear out of one ear, your brain is never getting stereo sound. It's never getting this separation, okay? It's never being able to tell which direction sound is coming from. Because the only way our brains can tell which direction sound is coming from is by hearing from both ears. And that little bit of difference of the sound hitting one ear and when it hits the other ear, it lets our brain know which direction sound is coming from and it lets us focus, okay? And without that ability to tell which direction sound is coming from, our brain can't focus. All right, so uh, that's why it's important to have directionality. That's why it's important to be able to hear from both ears, okay? So if you know somebody who, who has normal hearing in one ear, but they have hearing loss in the other ear, they will do fine, perfectly fine in a quiet one-on-one -on -one environment and they'll have no problems. But as soon as they get into a noisy environment, in a group situation, they're gonna have lots of problems understanding what people are saying. They'll still hear people, but they have all kinds of problems understanding what people are saying because they won't be able to focus in on the one person they're actually trying to hear, okay? So <clears throat> the other thing, how, how much time do I have? Three minutes. Three minutes, okay. So I'm gonna do one more thing, and uh, hopefully this will work. But you're gonna, you're gonna have to go and watch the video, okay? So now I wanna do, uh, um, uh, demonstrate directional microphones, okay? Which you won't be able to experience today, but if you watch the video, you will be able to experience it. Because this is a directional microphone, okay? This is a, hot, uh, it's called a shotgun mic. It's highly directional, all right? Hearing aids are, are much better than this directional microphone. Each hearing aid has two microphones on it, and they communicate with each other, and so they can tell which direction the sound's coming from, and so they automatically adjust their direction based upon the situation to help you focus, okay? Which is why people with hearing aids can actually sometimes hear better than people with normal hearing, because it's not natural in a, no in, in a noisy situation to actually have that directionality, but if you do have it, you can hear pretty amazingly well. Um, okay, so I'm just going to have this make a whole lot of noise. Yeah. And then everybody can actually just talk to each other. Just make some noise. It's not important what I'm saying right now. <laughs> okay, this is Nathan Weller from Soundscape Hearing Aids. If you're watching this video and you need hearing aids, if you mention this video, I will give you a $250 discount off of the hearing aids. So, uh, just mention this video and you'll get a you'll get a discount off of what is already the best prices in the valley for hearing aids. All right, thank you. All right, so, um, <laughs> so, um, did any of you hear what I said to the camera? Yes. No. Okay. No. James did because he was right there. <laughs> but, so I said something to the camera, 
And uh, because of all the noise, it's very difficult to hear what I'm saying. Uh, right now, I'm talking in the same volume I talk, well, maybe a little louder, but <laughs> I'm talking in the same volume I talk to the camera. Um, but uh, uh, because it's quiet, it's easy to hear me. Now, with a directional microphone, that microphone is able to actually focus in on what I'm saying and f minimize background noise. You'll still hear background noise. It's not going to be absolutely perfect and easy to hear everything that's going on uh, when there is background noise. But a directional microphone will help minimize the background noise and focus in on the person you're hearing. So um, when you watch the video, you will probably have no problem actually understanding what I said to, to the camera. Okay. Um, and was that my time? Okay. So, and with that, I am done. Uh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.